and welcome to this week's video. It's Valentine's Day shortly and it's quite a commercial day usually. However, I've come up with an idea where it's very little money spent but still expresses your love and caring for your loved one and that is to hand make a gift. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is make peppermint creams. Now these are the things that you're going to need. A bowl. You will also need a bowl for breaking your egg into because we need some egg whites and you need to separate them out. And you need another small bowl for melting the chocolate. Now this is optional, the chocolate decoration. If you don't like chocolate, well, you don't have to have chocolate. But I know a lot of people do. Certainly Peter does. Some weighing scales. Now hopefully you've got all this on the boat, but as a part-time boater I had to bring it all with me. A sieve. Some heart-shaped cookie cutters. A rolling pin. I've got a baking tray with greaseproof paper on it, or you can use baking parchment, whatever you have. And that's for putting your peppermint creams on one step forward. Now, you can roll out your icing on a surface, but I've got a roll out mat. Now, I've got a spatula here, um, palette knife, and this is for the mixing. I'd rather mix with this and then go in with my hand afterwards. Some Swiss dark chocolate for the optional decoration. Peppermint essence for peppermint creams. An egg, as I mentioned earlier, for the egg white. You need a lemon. Ju some juice of about half a lemon to go into the egg whites and just whisk, whisk it up. And the most important ingredient, without which you would not get peppermint creams, is the no calorie icing sugar. Of course it's got calories in, but it's icing sugar when all said and done. So that's it. I'm putting my bowl on top of my weighing scales. I've got it set to grams. I will zero it, open the icing sugar and weigh it out. I need 225 grams of icing sugar. So let's see how that goes. And I'm going to be using my palette knife for going through. Now you can make these into any shape you like for any occasion you like. I happen to be doing heart shaped ones because it's Valentine's Day. But circle, stars, anything you like really. You can also add green food colouring uh, to make it more minty looking. But I like the plain white and this is not going very fast so I'm going to do this instead. And I think I'm just going to go in with my hand to get this through. That's it. Right, I'm saving the rest that's in this sieve for dusting my mat when I come to rolling out. So I'm just going to put that down there. The next thing I need to do is to separate the egg. And see how I do with separating an egg. I haven't done this in a very long time. Ooh. Now with the yolk, you can make um, hollandaise sauce, if you've a mind to. Or in our case, Flan might have a nice treat of egg yolk. He happens to like that. He's partial to egg yolk. So I'm just gonna set that to one side. 
for later on. So there's my egg in bowl. And I now need to add some lemon to it. And I'm just going to put some, the juice of the lemon into the egg white. So here is my whisk egg white and lemon juice and my peppermint essence. Mmm, smells really good. And I'm going to put a little bit of peppermint essence into my egg white mixture. And I'm going to whisk it up again. Now you add it in gradually just in case you don't need all of it. You actually want it the consistency of pastry so that you can roll it and cut it. And I think I've just about got there. I'm going to now add some more icing sugar to the mat and start kneading it on the mat to get it into the right consistency. And there it is, it's on the mat now. Oh, lovely. I'm just kneading it in and this is incorporating all the icing sugar that's on my rolling mat. And I'm going to start rolling with my rolling. Here we go. Make sure you put icing sugar onto your rolling pin so that it doesn't stick to your peppermint cream mix. And you roll it out until it's the thickness that you want really. I now have my heart shaped cutters and I am going to be cutting hearts into the mixture. So let's see how we go. Oh, very nice. One heart peppermint cream. I will cut and I will just leave it there to dry. So here we go. I'm cutting them first one way and then I'm turning the cutter around and cutting in between like so. And then I turn them around and cut the other way. Now these are actually turning out quite chunky. So if you like chunky peppermint creams, then this is for you. If you don't, roll it out a little bit more thinly. So they are just plain white. And they're sliding around now because I've got the icing sugar underneath. So the next stage, if you don't want to put the chocolate on, you just leave them to dry out a little bit, quite a lot, so that they're firm to touch, and then you can put them into a decorative jar for your gift, which I'll show you later. But I'm going to be adding dark chocolate, 70% 70, 70 dark chocolate, because I happen to know that my loved one likes dark chocolate. So, 70% cocoa. This is for him because I'm not a fan of 70% 70, 70 cocoa, but I might leave one or two plain in case he'd like to share his gift with me. So that's the next stage. So I'm going to clear up for a bit and come back and I will show you the melting of the chocolate in the microwave and the dipping of the peppermint creams. Then they will be allowed to dry out again and then put into a jar. 
Okay, so now it's time to prepare the optional decoration of the dark chocolate. So I'm going to open the packet. Now this slab is 100 grams. I don't think I'm going to need 100 grams, so I'll probably melt about 50 grams of it to begin with and see how we go. You microwave this in a heat resistant bowl and you do it for low to medium setting. 30 seconds at a time and stir in between each time. Chocolate will hold its shape if you don't stir it. So let's take about half of it. It smells lovely. Oh, I wish you could smell that. It really is nice. And I'm going to break it up into cubes or shards. Can you see that there? If you break it into small pieces, it takes less time to melt. And break it a little bit smaller. So I've got my microwave set to medium low and I'm going to put this in there and set it for 30 seconds. Oh, this is just right, giving it a bit of a stir to get rid of the last little lumps. I don't think it needs any more microwaving. It's got a nice shine to it. And I think it's ready to start dipping. So here we go. Let's dip away. And it's looking quite good, really. Even though I say so myself. Now I'm going to do this until all the chocolate has been used up and whatever's left will be left plain. I won't worry about mixing any more, melting any more chocolate. And as you can see, I'm dipping them so that they are half dipped from the center of the heart down. And I'm tipping the bowl up so that I create a little well at the bottom for the chocolate to be in. And then there's enough space for me to dip the part in. We have the tray of peppermint creams half coated in chocolate and six of them are not with chocolate. Okay, so while we're waiting for the peppermint creams to set, I have brought with me some red velvet ribbon, which I got from Tiger. It was 50 pence for a roll like this, and it's 10 millimeters by five meters. And I also brought some gray ribbon, which I happen to have at home. I've cut the two to about 24 inches, about 60 something centimeters. And I'm putting the red ribbon over the grey. So I'm just going to tie it around this Dow Egbert jar that I brought with me. 
I really like them because they have the seal on the lid and it's going to keep the peppermint creams good for about a month. Um, they should be eaten within a month really, if they last even that long, who knows? So here's the ribbon, the red over the grey and I'm going to tie it around the jar. Making sure that the red velvet is roughly halfway between the two outer edges of the um, grey ribbon. Now I'm not doing a bow, but I am doing a knot. So I put one side over the other and then I bring it up underneath the left hand side and then pull it through and as you can see there's this nice stripe down the center of the jar just at the front there and these just hang down and I've cut the edges of the ribbons like a diagonal I like diagonal cut ribbons They're one of my things there we go there we have it. Nice and simple, nice and straightforward for a nice simple gift. Now if you can see the back, it's not quite centre so I'm just going to run my finger around the edge, my thumb around the edge to bring the red ribbon up to central and I'm using my other thumb to just keep the grey ribbon in position and that way it'll put it into the right place. Now I'm just going to check and see whether the peppermint creams are actually ready. The jar is ready. There we go. The jar is ready to be filled. So I'm just going to see whether they're ready to come off the tray. They are dry now, so I'm going to put them into the jar. very gently. I'm actually tipping the jar sideways so that they can just slide in. The plain ones, the plain ones can go at the bottom. Some of them are more solid than others actually. This is the jar partially full and there's still more to go. This jar is just the right size, almost to the top, and they do look pretty in there with the brown and the white. Last few going in now, and the best one or two are going at the top. like so. And now the lid goes on. One handmade peppermint, peppermint cream jar for my loved one. So my gift is done and I'm just about to give it to Martin. Valentine's Day! <laughs> now I know this is early but um, I figured if I made this for you a few days ahead of time then you could make it for your loved one and um, present it to them on the day. So he's about to try it. You've got to try it now. <laughs> oh right, you've got to try it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we want to know the verdict, don't we? Now these are quite soft, I think. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's nice because the yeah the sweetness of the the cream yeah balances against the unsweetened chocolate. Good. So overall, it's not too sweet. So there we go, a success. 
Now, if you leave them, they will go a bit harder. If you don't want them so soft, I suggest you make them as soon as you see this video and leave them to dry out over a couple of days before you give them as a gift. But I quite like them soft and by the looks of it, Peter does too. <laughs> and I'm sure they'll, they'll be even better when they've hardened a little bit more. Yes. The outside shell. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing, liking and sharing. And I hope it's been helpful to you to see, to show you that you can actually make a lovely gift um, without a lot of commercialism involved, but a lot of love and a lot of heart. Pum the pum, heart. Um, if you decide to make this, please put a comment below and maybe add a picture if you can. I don't know if you can do that on YouTube, but please do. It would be lovely to see how you make your gifts and present them to your special person.